Tamara Chase here, and we are, I'm here with Allison today. Um, we're going to show you our pre-ballet lesson four. Uh, just a side note, this is for ages three to five, and Allison here is, you're six, right? Mm -hmm. Allison is six, but she did do the pre-lessons with me last year. So she's gone through our entire pre-level uh, pre program for both ballet and acro, and today she is going to help me out with demonstrating the pre-ballet class. So let's go ahead and get started. Even though she's a little bit older, this is, this is what we do in, in our class. Hands on our hips, we walk toe heel. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, Eight. We're going to go two counts of eight, toe heel, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we add the arms, shoulder and shoulder and ceiling, ceiling, shoulder, shoulder and hip and hip. Again, shoulder, shoulder, ceiling ceiling and shoulder, shoulder and hip together to finish. So you would typically have your entire class of 10 to 15 dancers behind you. Next, we have our bores, arms are down and lifted. We walk one, two, three, four, five, six, plie, right arm lifts and left. Left arm and right. Two, three, four, five, six. Right arm and left. Two, three, four, five, six. Left arm and right. Two, three, four. Straight knees up on those toes as high as you can get. Up, 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 up. You don't have to be right up on me. You can scoot back. And last one, two, three, four, five, six, and finish. She's making me laugh. She's riding my tail. Pointing and flexing of the feet. We start with our arms behind us, sitting up nice and tall, pressing the backs of the knees down into the floor. We're gonna flex and point. We're gonna do one foot at a time. We're gonna do some turning out and turning in, and then we're gonna do full circles. Here we go. And we flex and point. If you can pop your heels up, that's even better. Five and six and seven and eight. Another count of eight. One. One foot at a time. We go right foot, left foot, and right and left. Right and left and right and left. Keep going, one. Good, we're gonna flex both feet. Open, one, two, and close. So keep those feet more flexed. Pinky toes on the floor. And open, one, pinky toes on the floor. Flex those feet more, Miss Allison. Uh-huh, keep them like that, yes. And point. And we flex for two. Open the book and close point. Now we close the book one more time. We flex, we turn out, and we point, and we close. Reach up to the ceiling, stretch it forward for 10, 9, 8, 7. Hold it there. 6, 5, 4, 3, two and slowly roll it up. We're going to do our grand bat ma. So if I lift this arm, yes, and this leg, and both, and down. Here we go. When we go up and down with two feet, try not to touch the floor, okay? Six, and right foot, two, three. So we're working on straight knees and pointed toes, and she lowers. Left leg goes up for a whole count of eight. You can walk around, make sure they're straight, nice, and down, and other side, a one, two, three, four, five, six, and lower left leg goes one, two, right in front of her nose, perfect, look at you, and six, down, seven, two legs up, one, two, hold, and we're gonna lower, don't touch the floor, 
and right back up. Two, three, four. We lower down, don't touch the floor. And two more times, up. Two, three, four. And lower, don't touch the floor. Hold it there, she takes it up. Two, three, squeeze your legs together. And she's gonna lower, hold, and relax. That's a side note. Your students will probably not look that good because they're three and five year olds. Um, just bear that in, in mind. <laughs> it's totally normal if they do have bent knees and floppy feet. Yes, we all get those, we all have those students in our class and that's okay because we're working towards making them better and that's why they are in class. And we walk it out one, ta, ta, two, ta, ta, all the way down to the floor and back up. Five, six, ta, ta, seven, straight legs the entire time. Walk it down, two, three, four, don't touch the floor though. And back up, ta, ta, six, ta, ta, seven, and she rides her bike, big circles. One, two, point those feet, three, four, five, six, seven, and finish, good. We beat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and keep beating. Two, three, four, five, two more counts of eight. She beats, beat. Keep these knees straight. Little crosses, little, small, small, small. And feet together, open straddle. Feet together, open straddle. Two more times, feet together. Open straddle, feet together, open straddle, and she beats, beat, little beats, small, small, right at your ankles. Good, feet together, open up into your straddle, and we're gonna grab the insides of our legs and we're gonna stretch it. Good, so you can walk around, make sure your student's knees are straight and they're pointing the toes. Ideally, she's almost there. We're getting those toes on the floor. And relax, good job. Sitting up nice and tall. Good, point. Good, stretching over to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two counts of eight here. And up, over to the left. down the center. Hold it there, four counts of eight. This gives you enough time to walk around to all of your students, stretch them, make sure they're doing everything correctly. Good, so we still have two more counts of eight right here. We're gonna make sure our knees are facing the ceiling. Stay down, uh-huh. So big toes are off the floor. Stay, two, three, four and walk it up. Six, arms out, point those feet to the right. Stay, two, three, four and up. Good, over to the left. Stay, point those toes. up, walk it down the center, hold, one, uh-huh, she's reading my mind, keep holding it there, stay, squeeze those knees, backs of the knees on the floor, again, use this time in the music to walk around the room, correct, make sure you are making contact with as many students in your class as possible, and roll it up, Good, point those feet and finish. Ready, coccyx balances, hands underneath the knees, nice and tall, right foot. One, two, and switch. Come on, that leg should be higher and straighter than mine, yes? That's it. Look at how beautiful that is. One at a time, oh, one, and switch, <gasps> switch. I promise, I mean it looks amazing now, but it didn't always look like that when she was a pre. 
Good job. Ready? V set. Stay. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Allison's going to hold it for another count of eight. Two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven. Open into a straddle. Hold. One. Arms are still there. Stay. Don't touch the floor. Squeeze those knees. Point those toes. Sit up super tall. And feet together. Swing them around. Onto our tummies. Pressing up into Cobra. Here we go. One, two, three. So head all the way back on your bum. I mean, Allison's bun is touching her bum right now. And all the way down. Good. Hands underneath your chin. Lift the right leg up. Two and lower. Left leg comes up and lower and right leg lifts. One and down. Left leg lifts and down. Cobra stretch. Press it up. Two, three. Oh my goodness. She's literally folding in half right now. Squeeze. Stay. Perfect. Keep those fingers forward and slowly roll it down. Right leg lifts. And up, two, and lower. Left leg goes up, a little bit higher. And down, and right foot lifts. One, two, and down. Nice, Allison. Left leg, good. We're gonna lift up into boat pose. Hold, boat pose. One, two, three. So their hands, their knees, their toes are off the floor. Holding another count of eight. Stay, straight arms. You can do this. Six. Now she's going to do little bow rocks. Here we go. Bow rocks up and down. Little ones. Little bow rocks. There we go. Hands on the floor. Push back into turtle pose onto our knees. Stay there. Good. And slowly roll it up and shake out your wrists. Good. Here we go. Right on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two claps. And down. Two, three, four, and five, six. We march right, left. Again. So I love to have the class counting out loud with me for the body part section. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, two marches, seven, eight. And we pique on the right foot for an entire count of eight, four, five, six, seven, pull it into passe. Ah, oh, oh. And other side, we pique, oh, one. So you wanna also tell your students to lift their entire leg when they do the passe. Not just tapping their toe. Or sorry, when you're doing your piques. Good. And we repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two claps. There we go. Now you got the hang of it. And we pique. Five and six and seven. Pull it into passe. And down left side. Pique and two and three, four. Pull it into passe. Oops, sorry. Six. Whole count of eight. My mistake. And passe. And down. Good, right arm, one, two, three, four, Alan J. And lower left arm goes up to first. Can you follow your hand? Can you look at your fingertips? And lower, good. Releve up to finish, stay. Can you hold it? Make sure those ankles are super glued together. So what a lot of kids will do is open their feet Make sure those ankles are touching and those knees are straight. And finish. 
Hands on our hips. Good, we tend you to the right for one, two. Heel goes down, transfer other foot, pull it into first, other side. Point all the way to your tiptoe, heel down, other side, and close. And one, heel down, transfer other side. Keep that knee straight as you close. Left, two, all the way to the tiptoe, and other foot, keep it straight, close, feet together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down, ankles together, hands on hips. Elevate, two, three, four, five, six, lower. Now we bore to the front, bore, two, three, and plie, back. Bore to the right. Plie, bore, left, back to your spot. And one, two, three, plie, and back. And to the right. And to the left. Good, open up into first. And tondu, heel down, other side, straight, close. Tummy in, heel down, other side. We have four times, so we have two left. One, two, hands on your hips. Other foot, point, and pull it in last time. Where's your first position? Heels together, Missy. And tendu, close, and lift. One, two, three, if you'd like to add a little Challenge, and down, elevate back up. And down, good, hands on your hips, four, eight. one, two, three, plie, back, plie, to the right, plie, and back. Ready, now we're gonna go to the music, up and down. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and finish. Okay, so the next part of class we would be going traveling across the floor. So you could go on a diagonal, whatever your traveling setup is in your studio is perfect. I'm gonna have Allison starting on this one um, spot and we're gonna go both right and left, starting with marches first. And high passes, toe to the knee, all the way across the floor. Good, so you would have the whole class follow one at a time. Looking up nice and tall. And finish. Chasses and chasse. Good, chasse to the left. Next we're galloping. So we have our hands on our hips, our right foot in front, other foot. This is the one time you are allowed to step heel toe in a ballet class. Ready? Gallop. Good, and left side. Nice, those are good. Word in French today. One, heel down, other foot, and close. Left, and right, and left. Good, close, bore. And back, little step, straight legs to the right. Straight legs, nice and high. Left, good, open into first. So next 
is our creative movement section of the ballet class. And again, apologies for not having the whole class with us here today. It's Thanksgiving week. It's just been a little bit crazy in the studio, so we weren't able to actually film the class. Again, so just, I have Allison today. Um, we're gonna make this work the best that we can. This is your self and general space activity. So I spread these spots throughout the entire studio. I have all the students start by standing on a spot. So Allison's gonna take a spot and I explain to them, okay, this is your bubble. This is your bubble you are allowed to dance in. What can you do in your bubble? You can use arms, you can still do turns, you can still do legs, you can still hop, you can still use levels. You just cannot step out and pop your bubble. Okay, you are dancing in self space. When I clap my hands and say travel, you are allowed to travel to the music. You can do anything you want. You have your chasses, you have your marches, you have your gallops, you can leap, you can dance, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm gonna clap my hands and say bubbles. And you go back to a new bubble and you dance in your bubble, okay? So Allison's going to demonstrate just 30 seconds of a song, but I would usually use this entire song at, for this exercise. Ready, so we're starting in our bubbles. Good, anything you want to do, leaps, turns, legs, hops, but you're in your bubble, you can't travel. the general idea of what that looks like in class. So next we're gonna do our stretches. Allison's gonna put her legs out to the front. Pike stretch forward, nose down into the knees. I hold everything for 10 to 20 seconds. Sometimes you can have your class count as a group. They enjoy it a little bit more if they count together. Allison stretch, nose in your toes, in your knees. Pike stretch forward, this is what it looks like. Miss Allison's keeping her knees on the floor. She's pointing her toes. She's putting her hands on her toes. There, show me your perfect position. Are you stiff? No. Oh, just being a little, a little bit lazy today. It's Thanksgiving week. Okay, next we're gonna go into our um, straddle. We're gonna walk it forward. Again, I would just hold this for 10 to 20 seconds. And we're gonna come up. Good, we're gonna go ahead into our right split. So Miss Allison's gonna come onto her knees, hands on the hips facing the front. This is how we do our splits. Uh -uh. Come back onto your knees, hands on your hips. Right leg forward. From here, first put your hands on the floor. This is probably what your class is going to look like and that's okay. Then you slide it down as far as you can go. Okay, good. You're gonna wanna do your right and left split before you go home. So that wraps up your pre-ballet lesson four. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you um, next month for lesson five.